Will one of you finally give me what I desire? What's going on guys, RBG here bringing you another update on Marvel Spider-Man 2. Although we haven't seen much if not any news from Sony or Insomniac, it hasn't necessarily stopped their version of Spidey from making his rounds. So far he's made his way over to the PC which has become arguably the best way to play the earlier entries. Since Marvel Spider-Man 1 and Miles Morales have become more accessible outside of the PlayStation 5, it's built a following consisting of talented modders. And although his cameo was very brief in the first Into the Spider-Verse film, this version will feature a more notable appearance in the upcoming sequel. He'll have a speaking role, and hopefully his voice actor Yui Lowenthal will be providing his voice for the character once again. This isn't the first time we saw Insomniac Spider-Man involved in a multiversal affair though. It happened a couple months before the movie in the limited comic book series titled Spider-Geddon, where we see the video game or Earth 1048 Spider-Man team up with the superior Spider-Man and many other alternative versions of Spider-Man to stop the evil inheritors from wiping out the spider army. So yeah, even though we haven't seen the multiversal aspect in the Insomniac Spider-Man games, that version of the character has been in those situations in other forms of media. And allegedly this will be the case in the upcoming video game sequel. And I say allegedly because this is one of those rumors that feels like a huge stretch. According to reports, Marvel Spider-Man 2 will come with the dimension shifting feature seen in Insomniac Games' Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. The game launched in 2021 to positive reviews with many praising its inventive world shifting feature, allowing players to seamlessly hop between dimensions and entire zones without loading screens. And apparently Insomniac Games might be tweaking this mechanic for its upcoming superhero game, which implies that the story could have some multiverse elements. This rumor comes from longtime YouTuber Hip Hop Gamer who previously leaked the PS5 DualSense haptic feedback and Kratos joining Mortal Kombat, who's now claiming that Marvel Spider-Man 2 will feature and build upon the world shifting from Rift Apart in some capacity. The leaker claims that the gameplay will be the most open and fluid experience you see so far this generation. Now, as mentioned earlier, the rumor comes off like a huge reach because it just seems too ambitious and far out there. While the whole multiverse or spider-verse aspect isn't necessarily a foreign concept, especially to this version of Spidey, it just seems like something that takes away from the focus from the overall premise the game is going for. We already know that the story will consist of two villains, those being Kraven the Hunter and Venom. And don't get me wrong, both of these characters could find themselves jumping from different dimensions into this one. While the games have yet to acknowledge the events of the Spider-Geddon comics, this could be the perfect opportunity to do so. But the talented writers of this game series has already done an excellent job of grounding this version of Spider-Man in reality, and featuring the Spider-Verse would essentially hijack it and make it feel like it's riding the coattails of Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. It's no secret that Sony loves cross-promoting their Spidey films with their games. If you paid close attention to the most recent trailer to Across the Spider-Verse, you might have seen the PlayStation 5 feature near the end of it. They've been doing this since the No Way Home trailers, which made me predict that a trailer to Marvel Spider-Man 2 would be right over the horizon, and it just so happened to have dropped the following day after I predicted it. So I would like to think that Sony is fully aware of what they're doing when they plug in a brief mentioning of the PlayStation 5 at the end of their Spider-Man movie trailers. It's like this subtle reminder that Spider-Man 2 is still hitting stores in 2020. And many of you are probably thinking that since Across the Spider-Verse is the next movie down the pipeline, then it's a no-brainer to use that Across the Spider-Verse gimmick. But it just seems like it's too soon to do that. Like the most I can see them doing is dropping a ton of different animated costumes from the film. They were able to do it with the Peter B. Parker Spider-Man costume in Marvel Spider-Man 1. And they did it again for Miles in his own game. I know it might seem like a tall order to feature every suit the movie has to offer, especially with all the different animation styles they boast, but I don't think it'll be that difficult because of how much space Insomniac has on the PlayStation 5. That's the most I can see them doing to capitalize off of the movie's hype though. But I do believe that this world shifting feature could be utilized in another way, just not in the way you guys think. Since Marvel Spider-Man would allow you to control two different Spider-Men and the possible addition of Venom, it'd be nothing to use the mechanic to allow us to swap between the character on the fly in real time. 
Though this feature is yet to be confirmed by the developer, it would be a shame to waste this opportunity considering that Spider-Man fans have had two separate games already to become acquainted with each character. We haven't necessarily been able to control both of them during the missions though. Having a swapping feature would obviously allow for more gameplay flexibility and it'd give us a chance to see what each Spider-Man is up to during certain moments. Like you already know Insomniac is going to be expanding the city of New York in terms of its locations and you're going to be able to jump from one spot to another in a blink of an eye if they add this feature. And I just want to point out that utilizing mechanics from previous games to create a new game is nothing new to Insomniac. If it wasn't for games like Sunset Overdrive, we wouldn't have the buttery smooth traversal mechanics for Marvel Spider-Man. And that little weapons wheel that's become a stable in these games has been around since the PS2 era of the Ratchet and Clank games. So yeah, while I don't think we'll be seeing the Spider-Verse in this game, I'm not going to rule out the possibilities of the developers lifting the dimension shifting feature wholesale to serve another purpose for this game. But anyways guys, we gotta talk about the big elephant in the room, which is the release date. As you all know, it's said to release this year, but Sony has yet to provide a release window more specific than 2023. But apparently we're going to be seeing this game sooner than we think. We're talking sometime this September. The report comes the way of reporter Jason Schreier and there are a variety of reasons you can trust this information. For starters, Schreier has a pretty solid track record when it comes to putting out reports. Over the years he's delivered reliable report after reliable report with only a few misses. But anyways, this news came in direct response to another game within the comic book genre. You may have heard that Rocksteady and Warner Bros announced the delay of Suicide Squad yet again, pushing the game's release to next year, and Schreier took to Twitter to comment on this delay. When asked about this delay, he replied that the release of Spider-Man 2 in September could have further influenced the team's decision to delay the game in 2024. And you guys already know that when it comes to the month of September, Sony has pretty much hijacked that time and made it the release month for Marvel Spider-Man. Insomniac Games had a lot of success in this window with the first game, so using it again isn't very surprising. Not to mention that if this is true, we're just six months away from the release date. Of course, until we get the confirmation from the officials, this is merely just speculation. But there are other things besides September being the go-to month that leads you to believe that this game will release in five to six months. If you guys recall, it wasn't that long ago that Tony Todd, the voice actor for Venom, accidentally let it slip out that Spider-Man 2 would be launching on the PlayStation 5 in September. In addition to those details, he claimed that there would be tremendous marketing for the game this August. And although we're still a ways off from August, we've managed to see little promotions here and there for Marvel Spider-Man 2. As mentioned earlier, we'll be seeing this version of Spidey in Across the Spider-Verse, and about two months ago we saw Peter Parker and Miles Morales featured in a PlayStation commercial that aired on ESPN, and they were wearing their new costumes from the upcoming sequel. So yeah, even though the official marketing campaign hasn't started yet, and we have yet to receive any new updates, it hasn't stopped Sony from peppering in little promotions here and there for this game. But with that, I think I'm going to end this video. I'm not sure when we'll hear from Sony and Insomniac Games, but I'm hoping they answer all the questions we have, especially in regards to the new rumor pertaining to the dimension shifting feature. But until then, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think we could be seeing a Spider-Verse story in Marvel Spider-Man 2? And what do you think about it potentially releasing in September? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I ask you to like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, you can give me a thumbs down. But if you really enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you shared it with all your friends and family members on all the different social media outlets. Sharing is caring. But anyways, this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. As a successful YouTube user, I often get questions asking what I use to get my videos tons of views. And the answer to that is TubeBuddy. This thing has helped me take my channel to the next level in ways I never imagined. It's a browser extension that helps new and experienced YouTubers grow fast and optimize their channels. I've been using this extension for years and it's constantly getting updated with new features, like the SEO tool that helps me come up with the perfect title, description, and tags to get more people to click on my videos. It even provides you with analytics besides your videos to see how much traffic your video is generating from various social media sites. The extension is absolutely free, but as a special offer, we're giving a 50% discount for channels that have less than a thousand subscribers that purchase the Pro Upgrade. All you have to do is enter in the code RISINGSTARBUDDY. So if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or taking your content to the next level, download the extension now. You can do so by clicking on this link that will be provided in the description of this video.